And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And to with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today's first reading is from the book of Revelation. John had a vision. The apostle saw. a white cloud and over that white cloud the son of man appeared all on a sudden an angel came forward and shouted harvest time had come put your sickle on the earth because the son of man had a sharp sickle in his hand moreover he had a golden crown also on his head to show that he is the supreme as it was told he put the sickle on the earth and the harvest was done but harvest is a very happy occasion but here it is quite the different it is a very sad and serious and a troublesome happening harvest because it is a manifestation of the anger of the heavenly father against the disobedient children then another angel comes he had a sickle himself and he puts that to how the vintage all the grapes were gathered all the branches were cut and they were brought into the wine press which was a sign of the fury of the god against the disobedient children my dear brothers and sisters we should not have the experience of the fury of the lord to escape that we should be obedient children not children of disobedience now we are gathered here to show our allegiance to the heavenly father to show our submission to obedience to the heavenly father and our model is jesus his own son he came on earth to render the due obedience to the heavenly father on our behalf in our stead let us join with him and the supreme act of obedience of the son was his crucifixion giving himself his life as an offering to the heavenly father on our behalf for the remission of our sins a vicarious satisfaction in case we had in any way been disobedient to the heavenly father let us join with the obedient son and express our submission and obedience and ask 
pardon and forgiveness before attempting to offer this sacrifice. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly Listen sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who gave Saint Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of the Apocalypse. The art to reap has come, and the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. I, John, looked, and lo, a white cloud, and seated on the cloud, one like a son of man, with a golden crown on his head, and a sharp sickle in his hand. And another angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to him, who sat upon the cloud, Put in your sickle, and reap, for the art to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. So he who sat upon the cloud swung his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle. Then another angel came out from the altar, the angel who has power over fire, and he called with a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle. Put in your sickle and gather the cluster of the vine of the earth, for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle on the earth and gathered the vintage of the earth and threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Responsorial psalm. Your response shall be, The Lord comes to rule the earth. Kindly repeat. The Lord comes, the Lord, the Lord comes, comes to rule the earth, to rule, rule the, the earth. earth. Proclaim to the nations, God is king, the world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. The Lord comes, the Lord comes to rule the earth, to rule the earth. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. 
at the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. The Lord comes. The Lord, the Lord comes. comes to rule the earth. To rule the earth. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give praise to his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give praise to his name. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give praise to His name. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. There shall not be left one stone upon another. As some spoke of the temple, how it was adorned with noble stones and offerings, Jesus said, As for these things which you see, the days will come when there shall not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And they asked him, Teacher, when will this be? And what will be the sign when this is about to take place? And he said, Take heed that you are not led astray. For men will come in my name, saying, I am he. And the time is at hand. Do not go after them. And when you hear of wars and tumults, do not be terrified. For this must first take place, but the end will not be at once. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places, famines and pestilences, and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a prophecy of Jesus concerning the destruction of Jerusalem because it did not receive its own Savior, the promised Messiah. So the uh, city is going to be punished. The same thing was repeated when on the way to Calvary, the ladies of Jerusalem town met Jesus in a sympathetic attitude and lamented over his uh, pitiable state at that time. Then Jesus told them, don't weep over me, but weep over yourselves and your children. This happened, my dear brothers and sisters, in 70, when Titus, the Roman general, invaded Jerusalem and destroyed it completely, destroyed the temple, set fire to it, and everything was in ruin. So Jesus' prophecy is going to take place there. Then it happened, my dear brothers and sisters, in 362, another emperor came. 
Julian the apostate. He had gone back to paganism because the whole empire, imperial household became Christian. But this man left Christianity and went back to paganism. He became the emperor. He wanted to prove that Jesus is a false prophet. He is not the son of God. That is why he left Christianity. So what did he do? The first thing he did was to disprove Jesus. That is why he became a pagan. For that purpose, he did one thing. He wanted to rebuild the temple of Jerusalem. So he made all the arrangements, dug the foundation, removed everything that was there. A good pit was, foundation pit was made. And when they came to put foundation, what happened? The pit was filled with water. When they tried to put a stone, immediately a kind of fish appears. That fish will bite and that biting will be like fire. So they could not do anything to build the temple. They left it like that. And this Julian, who had left Christianity, he ruled only for 18 months. While he was dying, he seems to have said, O Galilean, you have won. So my dear brothers and sisters, this Julian the Apostate wanted to prove that Christ was a false prophet and he proved himself false and Christ had won. that my sacrifice and evades may be acceptable to God 
the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church as we celebrate the memory of saint anthony we pray o oh lord that you may pour out your blessing from heaven on these offerings we have made to you so that in partaking of them we may be without fault and be replenished with heavenly food through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift, lift them up to the, the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is, it is right, right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for as on the memorial day of saint anthony you bid your church rejoice so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim Hosanna 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 in the highest Hosanna 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 in the highest Lord we lift up your name we lift up your name with the hearts we will be praised with our hearts we will be praised we exalt the by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and bread of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out 
for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim Claim your death, the Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say sins, but on the faith of your church, 
graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And be with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Oh 
received fill us with life o lord so that we who rejoice in commemorating saint antony may also profit from his example of apostolic virtue through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, you were sent to comfort the oppressed and the suffering. We ask you to hear our prayers. Hear your and people and have mercy on us, O Lord. Jesus, you came to this world to call the sinners to repentance. We ask you to forgive our sins. Hear your, your people and have mercy on us, O Lord. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, you have given us Saint Anthony the Wonder Worker as our intercessor to help us in our needs and to console us when we suffer. You choose him to be filled with your divine goodness, to be the doctor of the church and a spiritual teacher to us. 
So we pray to you, grant our humble prayers through his intercession and merits. Amen. Amen. Now let us kneel down for the novena prayer. O gracious Saint Anthony, O gracious Saint Anthony, we praise you for your great virtues, we praise you for your great virtues and remarkable humility. And remarkable humility. With the help of Jesus, with the help of Jesus, nothing is impossible with you. Nothing is impossible with you. So we know, so we know that sickness and death, that sickness and death, perils and snares, perils and snares, evils and dangers, evils and dangers disappear through your intercession. Disappears through your intercession. You find what is lost. You find what is lost. You comfort the afflicted. You comfort the afflicted. And you help the worst sinners. And you help the worst of sinners to repent. To repent. There is nothing impossible for you. There is nothing impossible for you. O oh dear Saint Anthony. O oh dear Saint Anthony. O oh faithful friend of baby Jesus. O oh faithful friend of baby Jesus. Please be our support. Please be our support. Our patron. Our patron. And our eternal benefactor. And our eternal benefactor. Procure all our Needs, all our needs, both material and spiritual, both material and spiritual from, the Father, from the Heavenly Father, through your kind and powerful intercession, through your kind and powerful intercession, and more especially, and more especially the one we beg of you now. The one we beg of you now. Now let us specify our personal intentions. Please repeat. O most loving and gentle saint, o most loving and gentle saint, we will always proclaim, we will always proclaim your blessing with a grateful heart. Your blessing with a grateful heart. We command our body and soul, we command our body and soul, our old self, our old self, and all that we have, and all that we have, to your care. To your care. It is never heard that. It is never heard that you have disowned anyone. You have disowned anyone. Protect us from all dangers. Protect us from all dangers. Help us to face life. Help us to face life. And it's problems with serenity and its problems with serenity and to live a virtuous life, and to live a virtuous life without any taint of sin without any taint of sin may you be our stronghold may you be our stronghold in our moment of temptation in our moments of temptation give us a loving and generous heart give us a loving and generous heart finally we pray to you finally we pray to you to give us to give us the readiness of heart the readiness of heart to share all our good that we receive to share all the good that we receive with our poor and needy brothers and sisters. With our poor and needy brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayers of the Faithful O Lord, we are your people. We have gathered here before you to ask through the intercession of Saint Anthony, our patron, to renew us with your life and strength, so that we may ever remain firm in our faith. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for courage and strength to surrender life to, to you in critical moments and face such difficult realities with unwavering faith in you. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for good climate and rich harvest, for industrial peace and justice, for economic stability and social security in our country. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the unemployed and jobless, that they may not lose hope in life and may find security in your unconditional love for them. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those young men and women who genuinely want to get settled in their married life 
that they may soon have suitable companions as designed by you and receive all possible help to live a happy married life. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the families ruined by alcoholism and drug addiction that they may be cured of such illness and that their families find peace in your care. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who suffer from bodily illness and mental sickness that they may experience your healing power and we pray for the deliverance of those who under the power of evil spirit. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for students that they may use their time and talents creatively so as to grow up true to the value of life. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the invalid and dying that they may have hope in eternal life and for the departed that they may rejoice in your presence. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray for us O Saint Anthony, our patron, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, our Creator and Redeemer, you have gifted Saint Anthony with special virtues and the power of work miracles. Grant us all the good things that we beseech you through the intercession of Saint Anthony. We ask this to you, Heavenly Father, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. graces that we have received glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it, as it was, was in the beginning is now, now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it, as it was, was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen let us pray O oh, merciful God, behold the sick and suffering children of yours gathered together before your servant Saint Anthony. We pray that they may experience peace of mind and health in body by your healing touch and receive divine graces and give you thanks in return. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the grace of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and with your family forever and ever. Amen. Sing to God inspiring, work of love our tiring, resplendent in holy faith and light so pure. Sing 
Spirit of God inspiring, work of love untiring, resplendently holy faith the lives of you. Since the way the gloom and every illness kill, help us make the journey of the heaven show. Lift our souls to higher, set the hearts on fire, sing the part inspiring. Work of love and tiring, resplendent in holy faith and light so pure. Radiate your graceful, wonderful, the powerful, share with us the hope and joy of Christ we pray. Radiate your graceful, wonderful, the powerful, with us the hope and joy of Christ we pray. With the souls of God we do not ever stray. With your guiding counsel help us find the way. Praise we build and joyful and in us faithful. Sing the God inspiring, walk of love and tiring. Resplend and in holy faith and life so pure. Jesus bearer, holy man the bearer, intercede for us when he prayed his feet. Infant Jesus bearer, holy man the bearer, intercede for us when he prayed his feet. Comfort us and shower us with mercy sweet, give us birth and have 